pour yourself a cold one and join us for an hour filled to the brim with fun. It hurts in my ears right now. Entertainment. Cheeky, cheeky, bang, bang. Information. I need some water and a washcloth. And a little weirdness. Can I be a duck? Yeah, I don't, I don't think they want me to be a duck. It's Happy Hour with DJ Kyle. Hello again and welcome to Happy Hour. I'm your host, DJ Kyle. Again, I want to say thank you to our sponsors. We really couldn't do the show without our sponsors. So special thanks to all of our sponsors. Lindy Springs, our official water of Happy Hour. They keep us nice and refreshed and uh, very, very great tasting water. So thank you so much, Lindy Spring. Also, thanks to our veterinary, keeping all of our animals nice and healthy and happy. And they have a full line of anything you need at their clinic. Also, check out to Sir Dyke Yamaha. They have our year-round fun segment. Always a fun time at Sir Dyke Yamaha. And our exclusive attraction of Happy Hour, which is the Ozarks Amphitheater. If you have not seen a show at the Ozarks Amphitheater this season, do yourself a favor, get some tickets, go see the show. And of course, I want to say thanks to, uh, for all of our decor, our American Elm Company friends. Thank you guys so much for uh, your support of Happy Hour and your support of uh, Lake TV. I tell you what, we have a jam-packed show today. On the show, we sat down with Tom Abbott from the Ozarks Amphitheater. He's gonna be talking to us about that Tacos and Margarita Fest that's coming up Saturday, September 16th. A lot of people have been talking about it. What's better than Tacos and Margaritas? Well, Tacos and Margaritas and a Battle of the Bands and wrestling all at the Ozarks Amphitheater. It doesn't get much better than that. So you can go check out your uh, tickets and uh, get those online. It's for Saturday, September 16th. Also on the show today, we have Professor Jim Paisley. We're gonna be sitting down and uh, talking to him about some really interesting things. If you've seen these bridges around Lake of the Ozarks and around Missouri, uh, he's got some uh, interesting stuff to talk about that. We also uh, throw back to our, our visit with Swallowtail Farms. They have a fantastic farm to table food truck amazing stuff and we check out our uh, talk of the town missouri history so uh, we go see kevin hilly and he is going to be uh, introducing us to uh, some folks out there and just having a great time we have a fantastic show lined up so sit back relax and enjoy it's happy hour Two of rock's finest under the stars. Goo Goo Dolls with special guest Fitz and the Tantrums. Oh, here we go. The Big Night Out Tour. Friday, September 22nd, Ozarks Amphitheater. Goo Goo Dolls with special guest Fitz and the Tantrums. One evening together live. On sale now at OzarksAmp.com and Bridal Cave. Hi, I'm Greg Serdyke from Serdyke Yamaha on Osage Beach. For over 50 years, Serdyke Yamaha has produced an after the sales service, during the sales service, you ride on our reputation, and we need a lot of good employees to come help make that dream happen. So what we're looking for, we're looking for sales, we're looking for parts, we're looking for service. We're in Osage Beach. You can contact us at SerdykeYamaha.com, get on our website, do an application. Again, we're at Serdyke Yamaha. We've been doing it for 50 years, and we're going to keep on going. We want some good employees like you to come be part of the team. Your furry friends are more than pets, they're family. And at Our Veterinary, we understand that. With multiple locations, we can service your pets when and where you need it. Our team of professionals offer routine wellness, orthopedic care from broken bones to joint repair, and even emergency services. We are ready to welcome your pet to our family with medical or preventative care. Our Veterinary, with six convenient locations, the team providing exceptional care for your pet when and where you need it. If it's happening at the lake, it's happening on Lake TV. From the Polar Plunge, to festivals, parades, 
Aquapalooza. And boat shows, Lake TV has it all. Even the granddaddy of them all, the shootout. If you're looking for places to party, things to do, or even a new home to move into, you've got to love Lake TV. Welcome back to Happy Hour. I am your host, DJ Kyle, and we have Tom Abbott from the Ozarks Amphitheater, our exclusive attraction of Happy Hour, sitting here with us today. So, Tom, we've got some great stuff coming up. Let's talk about the Ozarks Amphitheater is having like a food festival of, of, of great magnitude, wrestling. What What is this tacos <laughs> and margarita festival going on? It's, it's easier to say what's not going to be happening yeah, that I, day, Kyle. I was reading the flyer and I was like, there is so much going on in this one in this one event. So. Yeah, this this is a, uh, a non-concert event we've uh, we've talked about for many years. Uh, you know, how do we use this venue? for things other than just a concert on a Friday or Saturday mm -hmm. night. And uh, we were approached by the, the festival producers for this Tacos and Margaritas thing, which is a nationwide event. Uh, you know, Tampa, San Diego, uh, Seattle, uh, St. Louis. I went and visited one of their events that they had back in March at the Chaffetz Arena yeah. and was amazed by how what the buzz was there. And it's literally you're eating and drinking tacos and margaritas all day long uh, <laughs> with some entertainment thrown yes. in there. Oh, um, even that's a bonus right there. I yeah, mean, but, yeah, you, but, you had me at the tacos and margarita. Yeah, like, exactly. if you just stopped right there, I would have yeah. been like, sounds like a great event. You know, you know and it's <laughs> happening on Saturday the 16th, which is uh, right in the middle of Bike Fest. So, mm -hmm. you know, we, we invite all of the, you know, the bike enthusiasts to come out as well. We've, we've groomed our bike parking. So if you're a biker and you're watching this, uh, come in the 2368 Old Route 5 entrance. It's nice and flat, small gravel, all that good stuff. Easy way to get in there. Uh, but we're excited to have it. You know, it's a it's a food and margarita event uh, mm -hmm. with live pro wrestling. There's going to be a stage or a, uh, a square uh, wrestling ring in our pit uh, that'll be easily accessible. We're also doing a battle of the bands uh, yeah. for this event, which we're excited about. We've we've also wanted to do a battle of the bands at the venue. Just didn't figure out. Couldn't figure out how to do it. And we now thought, you have it whittled down now, to it. Now we have a captive audience. We have six bands that have been Ooh. selected from, from many submissions. It yeah. was amazing how many people had sent in, you know, from individual acoustic people to, you know, heavy metal rock and roll bands to some country stuff. But we've narrowed it down to six. Go to our Facebook page and you'll see those listed on there. So pick out your favorite band. Come out and support them. Yeah. And uh, so we'll be doing the Battle of the Bands in between the wrestling and throw in some taco eating contests in there as well. Wow. Okay. So the taco eating contest. How does it? How does it work? There will be six contestants selected. You can you can enter um, a sign up sheet. There will be four tacos in a, a boat. Okay. And everybody has the same amount of tacos, and they they're all the same flavor of tacos. And it's the six contestants around the table, and whoever can finish eat and consume all of the tacos in the shortest amount of time is declared the winner. Huh. Uh, so, so it's not a, a multitude. No, it's not you don't, like you have to eat you 400 have to gorge, tacos. No, it's not like uh, Joey so, Chestnut and the hot dog eating contest. It's just how fast can you eat four tacos. Just a fast eating eating thing, yeah. Right. Um, and we'll do that uh, a couple of times throughout the day. I think the wrestling goes three different uh, events, uh, hour, 45 minutes to an hour each one. And then the six bands will play 20 to 30 minute sets with a couple of original songs required in there as well. Um, and then you'll get to vote monetarily for the fan favorite and whoever raises the most money for their band. Um, all of the money raised by that will go to uh, Wonderland Camp. Oh, uh, fantastic. You know, which is one of our, our partners, Mike Clayton uh, from the radio station will be the MC and also from Wonderland Camp. Uh, so we're, we're excited about that. So all of the money raised from all six of the bands uh, will go to Wonderland Camp as a part of their fundraiser. The prize for the judges selection, the adjudicated winner mm -hmm. of the event, uh, is a $4,000 grand prize 
and also uh, the opportunity to open for a band in 2024 on the Ozarks Amphitheater stage. Oh, now that's great. That's so, that's a spectacular prize. That's why we got a lot of submissions in for this because that's oh that's a coveted slot to be mm -hmm. able to open on our stage. Um, also the people's choice, the people's favorite that does raise the most money for their band and Camp Wonderland or Wonderland Camp is also gets a thousand dollar prize for being there. Nice. That is, I, I love all of the things that are going to go on there, taco eating. And I, and I'm pretty sure that the entire amphitheater is just going to kind of feel and look quite a bit different during that because it's it, not every it, day it there's is. a wrestling ring well, at the Ozarks Amphitheater. No, is it? <laughs> it's not a it's not a seated event. You'll be able to move around. Uh, it's a GA admission. The there will be vendors there from anything. You know, we're opening it up to all vendors, so it kind of a little, adds to the festival atmosphere. You'll, yeah. We'll set those ten by ten booths up around the walkways and up in the grass seating and around that area. We've got taco trucks coming in. We've got. Uh, local restaurants that are bringing, you know, their secret margarita mixes Ooh. in and stuff like that. So you'll be able to buy, we figured it out, you'll be able to buy food and beverage at about 50 different points of sale oh. um, at the event. There's also a VIP package. Um, I think it's around 40 bucks plus some fees that gets you in an hour early. Gates will open at 11 uh, for the VIPs. You'll have get a t-shirt from the event and you'll also get two uh, free margarita coupons to use at any of our spots and then you have access to the cork tent the um, party deck and our sponsor tent for shade and that's your end of the, your dedicated bars wow so the vip ticket that's the way to go it right is. there that's, i mean it, that's, it that's really is because yep. comes with part comes with parking comes with upfront parking that's very inexpensive it is so september 16th be hungry. Just playing right now. Mark on your calendar. <laughs> Be hungry on September 16th. Yeah. Tacos and Margarita Fest at the Ozarks Amphitheater. Wrestling, taco eating contest, battle of the bands, everything all in, in one spot. It'll be done by 5 o'clock and everybody go out and have a good time that evening as well. Man, that it, it really is something that is spectacular. Mm -hmm. So I assume they just roll into town with their semi-trucks and whatever and we, st we start setting up at 6 a.m. that morning uh, wow. have the gates ready to go by 11 all the vendors are set up taco trucks are in uh, obviously you know we have our stuff going we'll have pre-mixed margaritas we'll have hand poured margaritas uh, it's going to be a it's going to be a grand old time this is our first event doing this but we want to make it an annual event yeah fingers crossed and, that it's uh, happening so come next on out, year support that have some fun Come support some of your local bands uh, and regional bands. Some of them are from outside of the area mm -hmm. that, that we've picked for this. Um, but it's going to be a good time. And uh, you know, then we just keep rolling on into our concert season after that. We're still yeah. going with concerts. Now, in the concerts, there's a lot of people that love to come to every concert mm -hmm. or as many as they possibly can. I try to get to as many shows as I can. Mm -hmm. Of course, my uh, schedule doesn't allow me to sure. get to a lot yeah. of them. Right. But you have a, a program coming up in October. What is the Save Your o Seat? October the 7th, which is the Saturday after our last concert, uh, which that last concert is 38 Special. And with a special support act to be named in the coming week, uh, you'll want to make a follow our Facebook page on that for that announcement. It's going to be huge. Added to the 38 Special <laughs> with Clay Clear Band. Uh, event. So then on this Saturday after that is our coveted Save Your Seat program. Yeah. Uh, so if you like coming to concerts, if you like coming to concerts at the Ozarks Amphitheater and you have your favorite seats or you want to be guaranteed tickets to every show as we announce them or the shows that you want to go to, come in, join our Save Your Seat program. Um, it's a seat license. You can have the rights to that seat. When we announce a show on Tuesday, you get an email in your box. You can buy tickets before anybody else. So you have a 48 hour window to buy Tuesday, Wednesday, and into Thursday. You can buy your tickets for any and or every concert that you want to go to. The same seats, every show, before it goes on sale to the public. Wow, save your seat. Mm -hmm. That's something. That's a, that... that's a Mary Kay brainchild. Yeah, of She's course. Come, up, come with that several years ago, and, and it's, it's been rolling very well for the last three years. That's just such a great idea to where you could say, this is where I'm gonna sit because I like the, the view of the stage and where it is to the bathroom and where it is to the concession stands or whatever. So here's dates to check out. Save your seat, October 7th. Uh, we have September 16th coming up. Uh, we have the Taco and Margarita Festival. We have Goo Goo Dolls 38 Special. 
just so much stuff going on at the and, amphitheater. And then right after that, we start announcing our 2024 lineup. Oh, just all, always happening. Never stops. Always happening. Never, never stops. Never stops. <laughs> never stops. Yeah, it, it's a wheel that just keeps on rolling. <laughs> Make sure you check them out on Facebook, again, for those uh, concert announcements, the uh, contest, uh, when all of the uh, events are happening. Again, October 7th, that's the uh, Save Your Seat Day, and then September 16th, 11 o'clock until 5. You're going to want to be there all day, 11 to 5. Mm -hmm. It's the Taco and Margarita Festival. Tom, thank you so much for coming in, and uh, good luck on the uh, margarita and taco festival. Yeah, unfortunately, be... you're not going to be there. Yeah. You're going to be in Ireland. Yes, I'll be in Ireland, uh... but I... <laughs> will you have a taco for me? I'll say I'll have a taco for you and a margarita yes. or two. And, and fingers crossed that we'll do this again next year. And, Absolutely, I plan on it. I'll, I'll be able to go to it. That would be great. We have a lot more coming up right here on Happy Hour, so stick with us. Hi, I'm Greg Serdyke from Serdyke Yamaha on Osage Beach. For over 50 years, Serdyke Yamaha has produced an after the sales service, during the sales service, you ride on our reputation, and we need a lot of good employees to come help make that dream happen. So what we're looking for, we're looking for sales, we're looking for parts, we're looking for service. We're in Osage Beach. You can contact us at SerdykeYamaha.com, get on our website, do an application. Again, we're at Serdyke Yamaha. We've been doing it for 50 years and we're gonna keep on going. We want some good employees like you to come be part of the team. The exclusive attraction of Happy Hour is the Ozarks Amphitheater, and man, they have a great lineup coming up. The COMC Concert Series at Ozarks Amphitheater is underway right now. Coming up real soon, check this out, Saturday, September 16th. Mark your calendars. It's the Tacos and Margarita Fest, including a battle of the bands. Also, there's wrestling going on there. Just a full day of fun. Also coming up, the Goo Goo Dolls with Fits and the tantrum, Tantrums, Friday, September 22nd. Go to OzarksAmp.com to get your tickets right now. If it's happening at the lake, it's happening on Lake TV. From the Polar Plunge... to festivals, parades, Aquapalooza, and boat shows, Lake TV has it all. Even the granddaddy of them all, the shootout. If you're looking for places to party, things to do, or even a new home to move into, you've got to love Lake TV. Your furry friends are more than pets, they're family. And at Our Veterinary, we understand that. With multiple locations, we can service your pets when and where you need it. Our team of professionals offer routine wellness, orthopedic care from broken bones to joint repair, and even emergency services. We are ready to welcome your pet to our family with medical or preventative care. Our Veterinary, with six convenient locations, the team providing exceptional care for your pet when and where you need it. Welcome to Happy Hour. I'm your host, DJ Kyle, and we have none other than Professor Jim Paisley here with us today. And Jim, it looks like we have a lot to cover, so we do. let's dive in this. What, what is it we're going to learn about today? What we're going to talk about today is we've talked about production in St. Louis and Kansas City in previous episodes, and I mm -hmm. thought it might be interesting to share with you. How is it that the people were able to step right up and do that? Well, a lot of it's due to some programs that were created during the Great Depression by none other than FDR. And his whole concept was is that people are, are drawing money from the government, why not have them work? Novel concept, right? Yeah. 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 And so basically, he said, you know, today we got people, we have jobs, but we don't have people that don't want to work. They're mm -hmm. all drawing a check. And he said, well, that's not right. He said, if they're drawing a check, let's have them do something. Get, get to work. And yeah. in addition to that, they learned a skill. 
So basically, his policy was no work, no pay. Simple as that. Mm -hmm. Now, it wasn't it's discriminatory because it was your choice if you wanted to work or not. Yep. And he created two programs, the WPA, the Works Progress Administration, and the CCC, the Civilian Conservation Corps. And we're going to start with the CCC. Basically, what that was is he went out and he said, okay, we want all the young kids, 17 to 25 in the cities, because we got problems. We got crime in the cities. We got kids just lingering around and everything. Sound familiar? Yeah. yeah. And he <laughs> said, so we're going to go get all these kids. And he got over 2 million of them, and they shipped them out to the countryside and gave them jobs. Now, what was interesting about this is they went out and did these jobs, and they got paid $30 a month. $25 a month went home to their parents. That would go over real well yeah. with the kids today, right? <laughs> but basically what they did is they hired all these kids and they had about a half a million of them living in these Civilian Conservation Corps camps out in the countryside, even here at Lake of the Ozarks. Kind of like barracks, I would guess? Yeah, they guess, were barracks. Like you, they're still around, but most people think they're turkey barns, old turkey barns, but actually they were big barracks that really? they stayed in. Yeah, huh. it's pretty cool. Now the military was put in charge of this, so they had a little discipline and you had a commander that was mm -hmm. in charge and they would provide them with cl food, clothing and shelter, but they went out and worked every day, okay? And so they would learn skills. Now, they started out, they were doing environmental projects. They were planting trees, lots mm -hmm. and lots of trees. Now, like I say, this whole uh, green movement was near and dear to Roosevelt's heart, you know, kind of like yeah. what we see today with the green movement. And so he said, we're going to create a tree army, and these kids are going to go out and plant trees, all right? A so tree soil, army. I love soil it. conservation and restoration and all that, and they planted millions millions of trees okay and they went into places where there'd been a fire and put in all new trees natural erosion where they'd gone in some places where they'd done lumbering mm -hmm. replanted the trees okay and so the ccc this group was responsible for over half of the reforestation of the united states at the time wow yeah and what a huge undertaking oh, i mean you, you think yes of, you think of even now what we're doing now probably yeah. Hales in comparison yeah. to what... You're talking carrying a, a backpack and a shovel uh -huh. to do this, oh, yeah. right. Now, they also dug canals and ditches. They built 30,000 wildlife shelters. 30,000, okay? These, these rock structures you see at a lot of the parks and everything. That was Civilian Conservation Corps. Wow. They stocked rivers and lakes with a billion fish, restored historic battlefields, they cleared beaches and campgrounds, and in less than 10 years' time, the CCC built more than 800 parks, including the big one here, Lake of the Ozark State Park. If you wow. go and see those structures, when you're driving in, look at the ditch along the side. It's all stone. Huh. Civilian Conservation Corps did that. Wow. Those kids did that. Yeah. Now, <clears throat> basically, in Missouri, the first Civilian Conservation Corps camps were established at Sam A. Baker, Merrimack, and Roaring River State Parks. And within a year, 4,000 kids coming out of St. Louis and Kansas City came out here between the ages of 18 and 25, and they were in 22 camps across Missouri building stuff. Do it, so, doing all the work. Yeah, and so we got them out of the cities and just sitting there idle and turn around and they're, they're learning skills mm -hmm. and they're also earning a little bit of money for their families, okay? Now, <clears throat> that's one of the reasons why we were able to gear up so well for World War II is People were used to getting up and going to work, yeah. and they had some skills they'd learned, construction yeah, they skills and all of that, dormant, right? Then they had to get, get to work Well, real it quick. worked so well, somebody said, what about the parents? What are we going to do with them? You know, because they're just sitting around getting the 25 bucks from their kid working, right? <laughs> well, sure enough, they came up with something called the Works Progress Administration, and this was for the adults. And it was basically the same kind of program, but it expanded even more so in that what they did is they built huge projects beyond the parks. They built roads and bridges, uh, public buildings. If you're traveling down one of your gravel roads out here in Camden or Miller County, Drive along and see, you see those nice little concrete bridges? Get out sometime and look on the corner of it. There'll be a little brass plate that says WPA on it. Tells you when it oh. was built. And they wow. basically would pick you up Monday morning at the courthouse, take you out there and dump you off with a bag of cement and some shovels and some other guys. And they'd have one guy that would teach you how to build a bridge. Wow. Yeah. That is, it, and it's so amazing that these bridges are all still oh. here and active and working. And this just came from... 
laymen like right. you and I that exactly. are just, I don't know how to I build a bridge. Well, we're going to teach There's you. one guy on our crew that does, right. and they're going to teach me. Yeah, and they, they build them, hand, they were great bridges. Oh, they're yeah, still absolutely. good, right? Yeah. Well, eventually, the WPA grew to where they had 9 million workers in it. 9 million. Wow. All right? Now, what was interesting is they also looked at your skill levels as to what you could do. Because some people say, I don't know, like he said, I don't know how to build a bridge. And they said, mm -hmm. what did you do before? They said, well, I, I played the trombone. Really? In a band? Okay, great. You're going to go down to the high school. Monday morning, there's going to be a bunch of other musicians there. And every year, or every week at the state park, you're going to go over there and hold a free concert. And so oh. everybody was contributing something. Didn't huh. matter what. You had to do something to get your check, which was great. Artists, they would take them and they, you know, we'd build a new uh, train station. Go down there and paint a mural. Huh. You know, everybody had something that they could do. Even authors like John Steinbeck. They, they wrote all sorts of uh, uh, regional histories and stuff like that for, mm -hmm. you know, and promotions for different uh, areas of the state and so on and so forth, okay? They also uh, traveled uh, to the libraries, these WPA people, mm -hmm. and, you know, the old card files you had? Yep. WPA did all of that. Really? You know, that, that was for somebody that maybe, you know, was it, in some way had a disability. Mm -hmm. They could sit I there could just sit at a desk or whatever and... Right, uh, right. And wow. they'd say, well, I'm just a housewife. Great, you know how to take care of kids? Guess what? You're going to babysit while these other people go out and work. You're going to have, a, you know, a free babysitting. Wow. And so everybody had something they could do. And the nice thing about this, uh, they, what they did is they, everybody had a sense of pride in what they were doing. Mm -hmm. They weren't just sitting there. And they were learning a skill. And so, you know, it, it became, uh, you know, FDR looked at it as a way to provide the initiative to the people. He said, people don't want a handout. Yeah. They, they, they really are willing to contribute. And mm -hmm. he saw that and he tapped into it. And so now what we see happening is the WPA started building uh, highways. They built hospitals. They built schools. They built playgrounds. If you see any of these old structures around uh, that, you know, you think, man, I wonder who built that thing. Odds are it was WPA that wow. did it. Yeah, and it was just fascinating. So uh, just like today, we had people needing jobs. And basically what we saw happen is FDR knew that if he implemented this, first you'd get the aid immediately. Mm -hmm. And second, he said, you know, handouts were killing the initiative of the American people to step up and work for a living. Yeah. Here's a great opportunity for you to, to step up and, wow. and contribute something. Yeah, that's you such know, and a take great pride thing. in it. You know, I built that courthouse uh -huh. or, you know, I built that bridge. And he, he, I gave you a list of some of the things now, around here that were built. This is this is WPA built? This is WPA Because these are things that the Forest Park Zoo portions of that, the Bennett Springs State Park, I was just there uh, this weekend, uh, Broadway State Office Building in Jeff City, courthouses all across, uh, buildings at the University of Missouri, Dickerson Park Zoo, I found that quite shocking. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's uh, hospitals, there's post office, Merrimack State Park, Missouri Fairgrounds, yeah. U.S. Courthouse in St. Louis and Kansas City. There's so many things that WPA did yeah. for even our area. This yeah, is the old and, gymnasium down at Max Creek. And there, yeah. it, this is something that dissolved and there's nothing yeah. Like it? Well, what happened was is that when the war came along, it shifted everybody from this footing to private industry coming in. And we talked about how private industry partnered with the I government. See. And so, bingo, now all of a sudden you're not going to make just $30 a month. The yeah. salaries went through the roof and everybody had a job. But they like I say, what work. was neat is they had the work ethic and they had the skills when we mm -hmm. needed them. Yeah. Which... What a great idea. And you know what? Everybody says, you know, oh, you know, the, you know, the, the, the Democrats with their handouts and all this. No, 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 no. It, this was a Democratic president who came mm -hmm. up with this, and it was a great program. Yeah. I would love to see us bring it back. I absolutely would, because, I mean, imagine what we could do for the future and right. have buildings and, and, you know, better things that are going to be standing in the future and letting people get to work and learning a new skill that maybe they've never absolutely, had before. Absolutely, absolutely. That is absolutely what amazing. A neat idea, wasn't it? I, yeah. I agree. Yeah. Professor Jim Paisley, thank you, you again for coming on the show, and thank you for uh, all of this uh, information you bring to us. Can't wait to have you back here next time. You bet. Absolutely. We have more Happy Hour coming up after this.
two of rock's finest under the stars. Goo Goo Dolls, with special guest Fitz and the Tantrums. Oh, here we go. The Big Night Out Tour. Friday, September 22nd, Ozarks Amphitheater. Goo Goo Dolls, with special guest Fitz and the Tantrums. One evening together live. On sale now at OzarksAmp.com and Bridal Cave. Hi, I'm Greg Serdyke from Serdyke Yamaha on Osage Beach. For over 50 years, Serdak Yamaha has produced an after the sales service, during the sales service, you ride on our reputation, and we need a lot of good employees to come help make that dream happen. So what we're looking for, we're looking for sales, we're looking for parts, we're looking for service. We're in Osage Beach. You can contact us at SirDakeYamaha.com, get on our website, do an application. Again, we're at Serdak Yamaha. We've been doing it for 50 years, and we're going to keep on going. We want some good employees like you to come be part of the team. At COMC, your health is our mission. Central Ozarks Medical Center offers pediatrics at two lake locations and three OBGYNs at the Osage Beach Clinic, offering same-day appointments. At COMC, our doors are open to everyone, whether you live at the lake or just here visiting. COMC for the best medical, dental, and behavioral health care. Get more info on how COMC can help you at centralozarks.org. COMC, where your health is our mission. Hi, it's Kevin Hilly. On this edition of Kevin Hilly's Talk of the Town, we're going to find out how much you know about our Show Me State. What animal did Missouri provide to troops in World War II? Is this to eat or ride? <laughs> An animal to help out. A dog. Uh, no. Uh, donkey. A very helpful animal. A wolf. Horse. No. A donkey. Oh, uh, we'll take it. A mule. A, a mule. mule. They sent Yay! mules. Yay! You see? You got one. <laughs> what animal did Missouri provide troops in World War II? I'm going to guess mules. Yes! Yes! Mules? Yes! Yes! <laughs> you did great, man. Was it mules? It was mules. <laughs> That's exactly right. What's the... What's the official state bird of Missouri? Ah. Uh, is it the bluebird? Eastern bluebird. Okay. Well done, that's right. Oh, shoot. You realize I'm a, I'm a new resident. <laughs> uh, metal arc? What is it? Metal arc? No, no, it's good. Eastern bluebird. Eastern bluebird, yeah. okay. Cardinal. No. Blue jay. No. I guess. It's not a pigeon, is it? <laughs> it's Bluebird. Bluebird, yeah. That was waiting for you to say cardinal, because everybody says cardinal. <laughs> yeah. The Civil War troops that protected Missouri were called the Columbia what? Uh, is it militia? Well, good guess. The Tigers. Oh, really? That's where the Missouri Tigers came okay. from. Okay. Yeah. I did not know that. Hey, I think we're all feeling a little smarter, huh? I'll talk to you on the radio, Monday through Friday on 94.3 Cat Country, Hilly and Hart from 5.30 till 10, and then on 101.9 The Wave each Monday through Friday from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Thanks for watching this edition of Kevin Hilly's Talk of the Town on Lake TV. Winter, spring, summer, or fall, Lake TV's got it all. We think it's hot stuff when things cool down. We spring into action when things start warming up. Of course, summer is one big, huge shootout on Lake TV. And we fall in love all over again when autumn rolls around. Winter, spring, summer, or fall, Lake TV's got it all.
Your furry friends are more than pets, they're family. And at Our Veterinary, we understand that. With multiple locations, we can service your pets when and where you need it. Our team of professionals offer routine wellness, orthopedic care from broken bones to joint repair, and even emergency services. We are ready to welcome your pet to our family with medical or preventative care. Our Veterinary, with six convenient locations, the team providing exceptional care for your pet when and where you need it. Hey, welcome back to Happy Hour. We are standing here with Emily and Andrew from Swallowtail. And Emily, Andrew, thank you guys so much for uh, joining me today. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about the history behind Swallowtail Scratch Kitchen. So I guess it started when I was a wee lad. No, I'm <laughs> uh, probably about a few years ago during COVID, we met and we, we've both been wanting to open up our own uh, business for quite a while now since culinary school. So uh, we just decided that the lake was a good place to be. Um, it was, you know, up and coming. There's a lot of people moving here and just something new for the area. Yeah, absolutely. And you guys, you have this obviously moving vehicle that you can take anywhere. Yep. A lot of times you're here in the parking lot of the uh, Short Leaf Brewing here in Camdenton. Mm -hmm. So this is kind of like your, uh, your home station is that right and then you yeah. and then you yeah. go out for different you know food truck events and uh, other other things that are going on what what are some of the things that you guys are involved in um so the food truck we're trying to focus more on that right now but we've been doing like private dinners so we'll go to your house and cook like a five course meal or more um, we do all kinds of little events. Uh, the coming up, we're gonna have the food truck festival in Osage Beach, yeah. April 29th and 30th. Absolutely, we'll be there. I plan on it. Awesome. <laughs> that's, that's that's always such a fun time. And and I've had your guys' food. I'm a big fan of yours. But just to let you know, but I've sat out here and had um, several dishes uh, that you guys make, and what you make is just spectacular. And Thank and you. it's very outside the box thinking, but it's all like. The, the very finest ingredients, like homemade, local raised. So tell us, you guys uh, partner with a lot of farmers to get some of your ingredients. Oh, yeah, yeah we, we like to, I mean, kind of uh, work with the seasons, uh, work with our local farmers, um, get the best ingredients we can. Even like, for instance, uh, the flowers from a, a mill that's freshly ground, um, all the vegetables, all the meats are from local, local farmers. Um, and we just like to use the seasons as our as our friend yeah. when we cook. Yeah. And and I love that your menu is is fairly short. You usually have what six seven things yep. on your yep. menu at, at a time, and it's ever changing. So if you come here this week, you might have something totally different than if you come back next week, and it's all seasonal kind of things. But again, the stuff that you're putting out is something that I'm like, I don't even know how how you came up with this idea. Like, I had a duck brat, yeah. never had a duck brat in my life. And how do, like, how do you come up with these concepts? You just, um, just as culinary, you just kind of like grab some things yeah. and go, let's just we shake like it to, up. Uh, we like to call it upscale fair food. <laughs> so you think of like, you know, a pot pie, like that's pretty basic. I mean, everybody's eating a pot pie, but you know, we like to elevate it just a little bit, use those fresh ingredients. You know, use something just a little bit different that we enjoy, which is like a rat, rabbit in this case, or duck. We've done both. Uh, or like, you know, bratwurst. Everybody's had a bratwurst. We really like our duck, like the guy that raises ducks. He does a really good job. So we're like, how can we involve duck in a bratwurst? So. Okay, so let, let's talk about how you guys are making. I would like to order the mushroom toast and the lamb burger. That's what you guys are making today, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay, how do you go about making this mushroom toast? Tell us a little bit about the mushroom toast. So we make everything from scratch. So I make the rye bread with some of the spent grain from a short leaf. Wow. Um, so then we slice that and we grill it on our wood fire grill in there. Um, and then we have a spinach and pecan tapenade that we make that's mixed with some gouda. Uh, spread that on there. We have some cone feed mushrooms, which are mushrooms that are just cooked in some really nice fat. And then we grill those as well. And then on top of that is a, um, a chipotle yogurt sauce, which we make the yogurt. Um, and then we have some duck ham on there as well. See, that's what I'm talking about. Way outside the box thinking, this is not your average food truck. This isn't just uh, you know some 
fried mozzarella sticks. So let's talk about the lamb burger. Yeah. What goes into uh, the so lamb the, burger? The lamb burger is a, it's a crowd pleaser. People really like the lamb burger. So local lamb, local beef, uh, we mix the two, grind it ourselves. Um, and then we also make the pretzel bun that the burger goes on. It has a beer cheese that obviously we make uh, with the beer from the brewery. And then it has bacon jam that we also make. Um, and then some grilled greens and a curry mustard. Wow, wow. Again, this, this is an experience to come and visit your food truck. Where could, where could people come to visit? Um, so we're here at Short Leaf on South Five in Camdenton four days a week, Thursday, four to eight, Friday, four to eight, Saturday, 12 to 10, and then Sunday, 12 to five. Fantastic. Yeah. And then of course, they can they can spot you all out on the food truck yeah. events and, festival, and other other festival. things going on. How yeah. do they how do they get in contact with you? How do they follow you? Can they follow you on Facebook? Is yeah. that the best Facebook place? Facebook is probably the best place to look for us. We always post menus and our hours if things change. So follow us on Facebook or you can text or call us at yeah. 573-480-5122. Wonderful, wonderful. Again, Swallowtail Scratch Kitchen. Fantastic. I cannot wait to see all this food plated. So let's get to it. Yeah, awesome. Okay, so it is absolutely amazing what they just plated here. We have the mushroom toast right here, and it's just beautiful. I have my short leaf beer that would pair very well with this. I don't know if it pairs very well, but it's, it's good. And it's happy hour, so you have to have a beer. So let's try this mushroom toast. This just, what what went into making this, look at that right there. Oh, I'm excited about this. Mm. The ingredients that went into that toast, that is amazing. The, the bread is, even the bread just alone is spectacular, but those toppings, my mouth can't even like keep up with the, amazingness that is happening in this bite. I've got to go in for more. I've got to go in for more before I get to that lamb burger. So let's jump into this. But I, again, I have to say with this toast, the toppings that are on there are all, like they all play a perfect role with making that such a great bite. So let's try this uh, lamb burger. And I've had their smash burger before and their smash burger is amazing. So. I'm sure this is gonna be equally amazing. A homemade pretzel bun that they've made, and this lamb burger, look at that. I'm sure this is gonna be a messy bite. Let's just jump in. Swallowtail, you've done it again. You've made, you've made my mouth happy. If you do not get yourself to Swallowtail and try this, sample this, something's wrong with you. This is, this is for any foodie. You don't have to be a mushroom fan to enjoy this mushroom toast. You don't, I've never had a lamb burger in my life, but now I'm a lamb burger fan now. Swallowtail Scratch Kitchen. This place has some great food. I've gotta go because I gotta eat more of this. Get out of here. Hi, I'm Greg Serdyke from Serdyke Yamaha on Osage Beach. For over 50 years, Serdyke Yamaha has produced an after the sales service, during the sales service, you ride on our reputation, and we need a lot of good employees to come help make that dream happen. So what we're looking for, we're looking for sales, we're looking for parts, we're looking for service. We're in Osage Beach. You can contact us at SerdykeYamaha.com, get on our website, do an application. Again, we're at Serdyke Yamaha. We've been doing it for 50 years, and we're going to keep on going. We want some good employees like you to come be part of the team. The exclusive attraction of Happy Hour is the Ozarks Amphitheater, and man, they have a great lineup coming up. The COMC Concert Series at Ozarks Amphitheater is underway right now. Coming up real soon, check this out, Saturday, September 16th, 
Mark your calendars. It's the Tacos and Margarita Fest, including a battle of the bands. Also, there's wrestling going on there. Just a full day of fun. Also coming up, the Goo Goo Dolls with Fits and the Tantrum Tantrums, Friday, September 22nd. Go to OzarksAmp.com to get your tickets right now. At COMC, your health is our mission. Central Ozarks Medical Center offers pediatrics at two lake locations and three OBGYNs at the Osage Beach Clinic, offering same-day appointments. At COMC, our doors are open to everyone, whether you live at the lake or just here visiting. COMC for the best medical, dental, and behavioral health care. Get more info on how COMC can help you at centralozarks.org. COMC, where your health is our mission. Your furry friends are more than pets, they're family. And at Our Veterinary, we understand that. With multiple locations, we can service your pets when and where you need it. Our team of professionals offer routine wellness, orthopedic care from broken bones to joint repair, and even emergency services. We are ready to welcome your pet to our family with medical or preventative care. Our Veterinary, with six convenient locations, the team providing exceptional care for your pet when and where you need it. Welcome to another edition of Furry Friends presented by our veterinary. I'm Megan Albers. This is Mary Meowmy Tilly. And uh, this I'm is Kevin. This is Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> perfect, perfect timing, perfect dude. Perfect timing. Thank you to uh, our ball thrower in the background. Uh, we are featuring Kevin today. He's the sweetest dog. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. Tell me about him. My, my team tells me it's not very often that they say this, but occasionally we get one that they will tell me this is basically the perfect dog. Yeah. Yeah. He's, he's well behaved. He does well with kids, does well with other dogs. Uh, from what we have witnessed here, we think he would probably do good with cats. Mm -hmm. You know, he's, he's, he's well mannered and he's clean in his kennel and, and he's just a great boy. Yeah. And somebody needs to come get him before Brandy breaks down and takes him home. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> that's, what, that's what's potentially yep. on the horizon. Yep. She's trying to talk her husband oh, into it. Oh, goodness. <laughs> um, Kevin is, we estimate to be about a year old, okay. uh, lab mix, and he was brought into us as a stray. At the time that, um, so the person who brought him in was an out-of-towner. He showed up at the lake house. Uh, we did not have room at the shelter, mm. but she kind of was a little pushy yeah. <laughs> and, and convinced us to take him in. We were able to get the vet's office, thank you, our veterinary, mm -hmm. to board him for about a week until we had a kennel open for him. And... Um, you know, you know me and my crazy animal names. Yep. I did not name this one. Uh, when he went up to the vet's office and they said, what's his name? And they, we said, you know, he doesn't have a name mm -hmm. yet. And they said, well, you guys always give him crazy names, so we're going to name this dog. And his name is Kevin. Kevin. And so here we are. Yep. We have Kevin. <laughs> Uh, but Kevin's a good boy, and Kevin deserves a good home. Yes, so. he is seriously so sweet. He's uh, he's super gentle. Like I'm, I'm kind of surprised he is as young as he is. Because typically you expect a dog that age to like have a ton of energy and be like jumping on you and all yeah, of that. Yeah, yeah. And but he, he, he could be a little chill. older. You know, yeah. I mean, you know, all of our estimates in general are based on their teeth, mm -hmm. and so he's probably. Uh, probably somewhere between one and two, you know, I mean, you're, you're going to ask different people. They're all going to give you their own opinion and yeah. then we just kind of take it yeah. and average it out. So, yeah. I mean, but he's, we know he's, he's not there. a puppy puppy. Yeah. So, um, but yeah, he's super sweet, um, super loving, loves to destroy uh, ball pit balls. <laughs> yeah. So if you uh, have any of those that you have an emotional attachment to, maybe he's not the dog you for might you. might put him up. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but no, he is, he's amazing. Um, and... I definitely recommend coming down and just meeting him. Um, you can, of course, as always, apply at OzarksCatAndCanine.com. Um, I mean, you said he's good with cats. We, we with think he would be. Yeah, we, we've he never is, had yeah. him in direct contact with mm -hmm. a cat, 
but just you know from walking them past the cattery and yeah. things like that and when they're when they're in this yard and our cattery is right next door mm -hmm. you know we can see we can we can tell which ones fixate on the cats when they're yeah. in the, in there which ones could care less that there's a cat in there mm -hmm. you know so all the indications that we have at this point we think we, we would be willing to to take a risk with a cat yeah. with him yeah. and and probably not be too concerned about yeah. it i got you yeah and then i mean kids i feel like he'd be fine with young kids even mm -hmm. I mean, yeah just... i mean he you know he when he gets to run in he does get so oh, if yeah. you had a tiny little toddler just learning to walk you might, might knock him down yeah they'll learn to bounce back oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but <laughs> Um, so again, OzarksCatandCanine.com. Apply to adopt Kevin. Uh, you can change his name. I personally love it. It's just one of those ridiculous <laughs> dog names. Uh, so you guys have a vaccination clinic coming up. Now, yes, I know we one do. of our episodes, we didn't quite get all the information right. So, so forget about so that. I don't, know, I don't know where my head was the last time we filmed and talked <laughs> yeah. about this, but when I watched it, I went, oh my gosh, I was totally wrong. And part of it was that I, I did not have part of the information and yeah. made an assumption based on things we had done in the past. So mm -hmm. that part was definitely my mistake. But um, the vaccination clinic is held in conjunction with the Jeff... Um, not Jefferson, <laughs> the Camden County there we go. Animal Control okay. Sheriff's Department. Uh, they get a grant uh, to put this on. Mm -hmm. So it will be a free rabies and microchipping clinic okay. for Camden County residents. Okay. Uh, you will need to show some kind of proof of being Camden County. And what we were told from um, the, anim the head animal control officer was what they would prefer to see is a um, Camden County tax receipt. Okay. So even if you don't actually live in Camden County, but if you own property here, own a business uh, okay. here, you would mm -hmm. qualify for this event. Okay. Uh, they will have 250 microchips and 250 rabies vaccines. It will be first come, first serve. Mm -hmm. It is Saturday, September 23rd. There I said the 28th last <laughs> night, and I the last time, and I was completely mistaken on that. It is the 23rd okay. from noon to four, and will be held at our veterinary in Ling Creek. Okay. Uh, so they are our, are the co-sponsors on that as well. Um, they will they would be willing to do other shots that mm -hmm. day. I thought based on things that had happened in the past that the parvo distemper and the equivalent on cats was included in the free, but it is okay. not. So you have to pay for um, that, but if, you can if do you, it that If same you need day. to get that done, you can get that done okay. that day. It would just be, you would have to pay for it. Uh, if you wanted the Bordetilla, the cough mm -hmm. shot, you could get that done that day. Uh, they can call our veterinary and ask. Uh, right now, I don't have um, the cost on those, mm -hmm. so I don't know if it's going to be full price, if it's going to be at a discount or anything, but they can call our veterinary ahead of time, say, hey, I'm going to come to that uh, free Camden County event. Yeah. Can you tell me how much it would cost to get my dog's probably distemper shot done at the same time? And they'll be able to help you out with that. Um, all animals need to either be uh, cats in a kennel mm -hmm. or, you know, maybe small dogs in a kennel. They either need to be kenneled or leashed okay. uh, when they come in. And they have said, uh, requested no retractable leashes. Mm -hmm. It needs to be a regular, you know, regular leash that doesn't retract. Those can sometimes be harder to hand, for them to handle yeah. the animals with. But that will be, uh, once again, noon to four, Saturday, September 23rd, 23rd. Camden <laughs> County residents. <laughs> Perfect. And it'll just be first come, first serve. Okay. Um, 250 microchips, 250 rabies vaccines. Mm -hmm. Once they run out, if they run out before the four hours is up, then they'll be done. Okay, all right, sounds good. <laughs> uh, for all of the events that uh, these guys have going on, you can find them on Facebook. Uh, you also get to see fun uh, photos and videos of cute dogs and cats, <laughs> which is a wonderful addition to your news feed. Um, as always, OzarksCatandCanine.com. Check out the adoptable cats and dogs. Be sure to adopt one. Uh, Kevin needs a good home because Brandy, I don't know if she can handle another dog. I mean, <laughs> I'm not doubting her ability, but... <laughs> Uh, thanks so much, Mary. It's always fun. Always. Uh, it's a good time. I love it. And uh, I'm going to go over there and uh, love up on Kevin because he's too dang cute. That is it for another Furry Friends presented by our veterinary.
Your furry friends are more than pets, they're family. And at Our Veterinary, we understand that. With multiple locations, we can service your pets when and where you need it. Our team of professionals offer routine wellness, orthopedic care from broken bones to joint repair, and even emergency services. We are ready to welcome your pet to our family with medical or preventative care. Our Veterinary, with six convenient locations, the team providing exceptional care for your pet when and where you need it. Hi, I'm Greg Serdyke from Serdyke Yamaha on Osage Beach. For over 50 years, Serdyke Yamaha has produced an after the sales service, during the sales service, you ride on our reputation, and we need a lot of good employees to come help make that dream happen. So what we're looking for, we're looking for sales, we're looking for parts, we're looking for service. We're in Osage Beach. You can contact us at SirDykeYamaha.com, get on our website, do an application. Again, we're at Serdyke Yamaha. We've been doing it for 50 years, and we're going to keep on going. We want some good employees like you to come be part of the team. Two of rock's finest under the stars. Goo Goo Dolls with special guest Fitz and the Tantrums. Oh, here we go. The Big Night Out Tour. Oh, really Friday, September 22nd, Ozarks Amphitheater. Goo Goo Dolls with special guest Fitz and the Tantrums. One evening together live. On sale now at OzarksAmp.com and Bridal Cave. If it's happening at the lake, it's happening on Lake TV. From the Polar Plunge, to festivals, parades, Aquapalooza, and boat shows, Lake TV has it all, even the granddaddy of them all, the shootout. If you're looking for places to party, things to do, or even a new home to move into, you've got to love Lake TV. Hey, I want to say thank you so much for joining me today on Happy Hour. I've been your host, DJ Kyle. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed the show. I want to say thanks to all the folks that we had on the show. Tom Abbott, thanks so much for uh, letting us know about those tacos and margaritas. Don't forget, again, get your tickets, ozarksamp.com for Saturday, September 16th. The tacos and margaritas, I think that's going to be a fantastic festival. Also want to say thanks to uh, Professor Jim Paisley and all of the knowledge that you bring us here on the show. Swallowtail Farms, can't thank you enough. Now I'm hungry for Swallowtail Farms, so I've got to go visit you very soon. And of course, uh, Kevin Healy, our talk of the town. He's always a riot. Love having him on the show. And Megan there with our furry friends, always a fun time. Thank you, each and every one of you guys, for uh, joining us today on the show. And again, I want to say thanks to our sponsors because we couldn't do it without you. Lindy Spring, our official water of happy hour. Our good friends at Ozarks Amphitheater, the exclusive attraction of happy hour. And Sir Dyke Yamaha, our year-round fun. And of course, we can't forget our good friends at our veterinary. We love you and we thank you so much for your support of happy hour. I hope you all have a wonderful uh, rest of your week. Thank you so much again for tuning in. And we have a whole lot more right here Lake TV, thanks so much for tuning in.